was good agents we are back today with some more star wars unlimited stuff i actually managed to get my hands on two more boxes for shadow of the galaxy which is the latest um star wars unlimited set that came out so we're gonna crack these open and see what we get all right let's get started all right so we'll start with uh this, this first box here um and see how if i can get this open good lord I would say one of my favorite things um, about the like the game in general in terms of its packaging, uh, I think that the packaging for the actual packs is amazing just because it's so easy to open, I feel like, because it's like that paper sort of material, but it also doesn't feel like cheap either. All right. All right. Let's see what we get out of box number one. Right now, you know, I'm really just definitely hunting for crate dragons, but... Um, we're not really looking for a bunch of specific stuff, so we're kind of just going with the flow here. We're going to start off with a Boba Fett, um, uh, Navarro City, Pike Sentinel, Desperado Freighter, a little Wookiee there. So yeah, we're probably just going to speed through a lot of these. We've opened up so many packs by now, um, but I don't think we really need to go through everything. Okay, there's our foils. We're going to keep those um set apart i'll actually go ahead and organize everything a little bit later which is such a long process we got fennec all right yeah the oh okay there's our first hyperspace uh covert strength that looks pretty cool right there oh no where i put my uh foil card hold on guys there it is okay so we'll have our foils and our hyperspaces together and everything else just kind of be off to the side. My strike, underworld thug, Terminator, the client, uh, lurking phantom, Sugi, and then uh, Ty of the Outland uh, Ty Mountain Vanguard is the foil. Now, I'll tell people in my uh, in the card shop today, my local, that like one of the crazy things about this this game is how many variants uh oh shit we got a showcase right here of dr afra what the hell did not anticipate getting this because me and a buddy of mine got this from the same local maybe it didn't come from the same case but oh my god um that looks crazy cool uh nice all right so let's go ahead and sleeve that actually you know what we're gonna put this in a case did not anticipate that at all especially out of like three packs in uh, so our first uh showcase rare guys nice sweet i love the way these look um i would say hers doesn't feel as intricate but whatever um all right so what does this card even do uh because i haven't even i've never even read dr afro before all right when the regroup phase starts this card a card from your deck interesting um okay and then on this side uh well if so while there are five or more different cards different costs among them you just oh okay i see she'll get so she becomes a five five when deployed choose three cards you discard pile different names if you do return one of them to your hand at random interesting okay it's an interesting mechanic all right cool um that's crazy uh did not anticipate yeah wow all right Okay, got our henchman. Place is crumb. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like Star Wars is one of the... Ooh, and a legendary in the same pack. Kylo's tie silencer. And then um, foil her is off. Man, okay. These, this is this box is... Wow. All right. Uh, um, totally lost my train of thought, y'all. I, I don't even know what I was going to say now. Um, yeah, I did not expect to see that. All right, maybe it will come back to me. Okay, we got Boba, Vice Mines, Captive. Wow. I wish I know which box that came from. So uh, a friend of mine um, picked it up one for me up from the shop. And I don't know if that was this box or this is the box that we bought, which would be hilarious if it's the one that they had grabbed uh, for me. <laughs> um, wow, that's really cool. For here, 
I can see like, how Doctor Doctor Afra could be a cool build. A little bit of like that RNG if you like that um, um like slot machine um style of gameplay um, that some games do so well. Two sides, okay. Man, that's so crazy. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the few games, uh, aside from like early Lorcana, where I feel like you can actually plus, um, like relatively consistently, you know, especially if you can buy a box at, at MSRP. Um, I feel like this is one of the few games I've played where um, it seems more common to be able to make back what you spend and still build what you want. Um, and then, oh my God. So we have an, a legendary, a hyperspace foil legendary. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is gonna keep me going back to buying more boxes. Every time I'm like, okay, I'm good. I don't need to buy any more boxes. Um, something like this happens, which I guess isn't a, a bad thing. Wow, yes, that's not Scar Saxon. I feel like now with all the different cards in this set and between this and last set, I'm actually like really struggling to decide. I want to build certain decks because I feel like there's so many ways um, to kind of construct them um, and have them be like viable, you know, because I really want to fit the smuggle mechanic more into my Vader deck, but it's like difficult to decide what should I, uh, what should I take out and all that um, is definitely something that I'm like, ah, about. Uh, Flamethrower, and then Cassie Nandor. Wow. Hyperspace Foil Legendary. Cool. Yeah, a friend of mine was saying about, um, at the local, was talking about how good Dryden Voss is with, uh, um, Jabba. Since Jabba can steal units and Dryden Voss, let me actually read it. Choose a captured unit guarded by one of, yeah, you can basically play one of your opponent's units as your own, which is cool, that you've captured in, um, Big boy Jabba captures the unit on play. Uh, guild target, the zine, and then just giant. Whew, man. I feel like, okay, we can stop opening boxes now. We're, we're opening this box, we're good. Because, uh, wow. Looks like we have another hyperspace foil in the back. Uh, another slices crumb. Uh, okay, hyperspace slices and a Mandalorian, nice, and um, a foil pirate king. Hyperspace foil pirate king. I'm thinking for this set, I'm going to end up building Bo and um, Bo Katan, and then I'm going to end up building um, Boba from the new set. We're trying to decide what other villain deck I should build. Um, whether it be like Moth Gideon, I'm not sure yet. So we're basically going to be building three decks um, from this set. Bell the Dragon. Okay. Yeah, there was no legendary in there, I don't think. No, I think that was all. Okay, cards. Oh, Resolation's Crumb needs to go there. I believe all my, hyper, my, all my foils together there. Yeah, even the hyperspace ones. All right, next pack. I kind of wish I was streaming that because that was, that was it's crazy. They're like three packs deep, and and there there they were. Wow. Not sure how much she's going for at the moment because I don't think she's like a super meta relevant leader, but whatever. Uh, a showcase is a showcase, so we will not be mad about that. Okay. Navarro. Yeah, we're kind of like I said, we we're speeding through it because we already we've opened so many packs of this set. Um, Millennium Falcon full art, nice. And then follow the way full art, nice foil or hyperspace. Keep on full arts. I mean, that's that's what they are, but. A moment of glory. Okay. 
Okay, Boba Fett's armor, nice. And then Derry. Does this actually get a buff for Boba specific? If attached to a Boba Fett, the damage would prevent two damage. Wow, that's okay. Maybe the other villain deck we build is Boba because uh, seems like it'll be really good for him. I just gotta get my hands on the legendaries, which um, probably isn't gonna be a good time. Don't remember how much they were last time I looked, but I do remember them not being necessarily cheap. So, playing challengers and hyperspace. Or. Uh, Sonara, Survivor's Gauntlet. Play some war. Yeah, I really wonder what the what the pull rate is for showcases. I have no idea. For my Dragon Ball folks, I thought it was close to like God Rare status, but I don't know. It might be more common than that. But I could be wrong. Oh, and a hyperspace Poe Dameron legendary. Nice. And then Long Pike. Yeah, this this box is crazy. This this is a crazy box. Oh my god. We've gotten four legendaries in a showcase out of this box so far. What the hell? I guess I, I can like never complain about my pull luck in Star Wars. Not that I ever did, but good lord. Tetsu Onyo. Echo. Tobias. Wow. <laughs> I'm speechless, y'all. I'm absolutely speechless. And actually, I'm kind of glad there's a showcase that I can easily say, yeah, that one I can... Let's part with that one, because I'm, I'm not building that deck. If it was like the Boba, I would really struggle. I am so surprised there isn't like a showcase Vader or a Luke running around. Because I know in this set, you can get, there's a, there's a uh, showcase Moff Gideon. Um, since he's a starter leader, I was kind of surprised by that. I don't know if you can, like, if it's pullable from the set, or if there's some other way you're supposed to get it. I'm headhunting, uh, Vanth, and then Denkov. Yep. A buddy of mine actually pulled a um, Han Solo um, earlier today, too. Blank wanted. Uh, one. Uh, oh my god, another legendary? What the hell? Five legendaries in this box in the showcase. I'm. Alright, this is like my third or fourth DJ I've gotten. Wow. God tier box. That is absolutely insane. Crosshair, let's oh, ruthless and then smuggler star player. Oh no! No, maybe I should put. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm already like really curious to see what the next set is going to be. I'm hoping for some Clone War stuff. I really would, or yeah, some Clone War stuff would be cool. I'd want to build like a Rex deck and do like a like a five first type of thing. That'd be that'd be fun if you could. Obviously, an Anakin leader would be awesome. We I would be all over that. Now, commission. Ooh, that's, that looks like really good foil full uh, full art. Deserter, criminal dude. The dark bro. That is six legendaries in this one box. That doesn't seem I, I mean I'm gonna take it. Oh my lord, dude. Um hold on. I have all these sleeves here. Here we go. We'll put this in a Pokemon sleeve. Wow. Wow. 
All right, last pack of the box. I'm actually gonna use that box for storage, so we'll just put that somewhere out the way. Woo! Probably moving a little too fast here, but all right, we'll focus in on the, on the crazy stuff. Richard the Throne, Cloud Rider, Fennec, Billy Hunter's Quarry, and Freetown backup. All right, so let's take a second to just look at what we've got um, from a legendary perspective. Because this has got to be the craziest box I've ever seen. Uh, maybe that's a showcase thing. All right, so we got our showcase wear. We got the dark saber. We got DJ. We have a full art a hyperspace Poe, um, a foil hyperspace Dryden Voss, the Mandalorian, and then Kylo's Tie Silencer. That is a wild, wild set of pulls. Um, yeah. All right, so I guess we're gonna jump into the second box here. Um, so let me go ahead and get all that set up, and I'll be well for you guys it'll be instant but i'll be right back all right guys we are back let's go ahead and start up um with the second um box here you know what actually me like, i know i just said i'll be right i'm back but uh the thought of like i should just put these commons in here and out the way is probably what we should be doing I'll just drop all that stuff in there okay Man, that, that's a wild box. I don't even know what to say about that. All right, let's just move on. Move on to the next one. Um, I checked Dr. Afra, at least currently, is going for 238. The last one sold for 220. Um, showcases, man, in this game, it's just it's nuts. It's nuts. All right. Next pack of box. Number two. We've got a Fennec. Eventually, I'm going to kind of like know exactly where the big hits are, but it's more fun to kind of just cycle through everything, I guess. You know? Let's see what's there. IG-11. Um, okay. Got a foil there. Let me actually move this. There we go. No, it's not in the direct line of sight and in the way. Alright, another Fennec. Two, three, four, five, six. Muscle. Commission. I feel like I have so many of these commissions head hunting. Mandalorian armor. Knight's Skirmisher foil. Alright, is it gonna happen again? Are we gonna be pack three showcase rare? Okay, we got big boy Jabba. Romance. The tag. Black Sun. Good Trader. Smuggler 8. Echo. Cool Hill. Cooley. Cool. Cool Hill. Brutal Training. Heroic Resolve. And then L337. Did I say Brutal Training? That clearly has Brutal Traditions. It's a much different card. up we've got a regular dr afro giant cover this rivals republic hunter reputable hunter chain code collection oh yeah i could definitely pick up my crate dragons now we got maul and omega because for vader i think i want two crate dragons i think i think three is a little much our Saxon, Insurgents, Sibling Fang, Resistance, Plank Mentor, and then Desperado Freighter, Foil, Foil, um, Full Art. Okay. Fennec, Full Art. God damn, is it like the third or fourth Fennec we pulled already? Mary Slave, Ritual Ward, Top Target, Bo Katan, 
Frozen and Carbonite. A Django. We love that. And Cloud Rider. Yeah, Django is one I got to figure out. I want to put him in, a, in some kind of build. I don't know. I guess it makes sense for him to go in a... Um, um, oh my god, I can't even think of the man's name. The Trandoshan. Bosk deck, I would imagine. It probably makes most sense for it to go in that deck. Um, just given the Bounty Hunter... Uh, like, theme of it. Zori Bliss Full Arts. Lone Pike, regular. And then Rokai Gunship. No legendary so far. That's okay. Pokatan. We are happy that we got our showcase sets. Uh -huh. Privateer Crew. Rose Tico. Triple Authority. Concord and Recyclops. I also feel like this set, at least for me, like I know what the legendaries are uh, much more, much more so than the previous set. I mean, I guess that's probably a me problem, but that's beside the point. Right. I feel like I've, based on what uh, Smuggler's Aid, Honey Posting, Penny Rao, Secret Reflection, more so than this one. I feel like this one's gonna be much quieter <laughs> in terms of the amount of legendaries that we're gonna pull. At least that's what it seems like is happening. Ooh, full art boba. Um, I'm actually gonna set that aside so I can use that for my um, boba leader. I still have no idea how I'm gonna build that deck yet. I think I'm gonna do both first and then work on boba afterwards. Dryden Voss. God dang, now I'm and double Dryden Voss. So we got a foil legendary and a right art legendary. Back to back, nice. Where these pull rates, or the way that these things pan out is just so wild to me in this game. All right. A double or legendary stack there. On to the next one. Oops, that's not the grass bag. Village, Arc Renegade, Wanted, Client, Omega, Wanted to say. Come on, give me a crate track. Bah. Yeah, this this game was so has become so much more uh, fun. I mean, it was so much more fun than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I'm so glad that I actually gave it a chance. Um, I, and I actually got my, got Rick into like playing it. And we were both really on the fence and just said, you know what, screw it, get a starter deck. And then he started playing on tabletop simulator, and that was a that was a wrap basically. Santin. Koska, Mana Mycense, uh, Headhunter. All right, we're a little more than halfway through this box. Boss, Far the Way, Deathmark. Yeah, the bounty and the smuggle system make deck building so interesting, I feel like. Um, Because there's just like, it makes it easy to figure out, okay, this is what I need to to ramp or to uh, to resource. But I feel like building around that is can be, I don't know if the word's difficult, but the decisions of like ideal hand and all of that just feel so much more um, um, versatile. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Marauder. It's not as uh, clear cut, put it that way, of like what you're, what you need to have or have or bust type of situation. Like in some games, it's kind of like you know, like if I don't have this, then it's kind of a wrap. Uh, Future to Bookie. Okay, Ryder, Jetpack, Salacious Crumb, The Armor, uh, Xanadu Brood, and then Underworld Thug, Full Art, Foil. So we got one crazy god box and then like a much chiller uh, one, I guess. Uh, 
Where does that go? Fennec. Free Vizsla. We like that. And then Monitor. I guess that's good for the uh, Boba deck. Ambush and Raid. And then your leader, Boba, will give it another buff for having keywords. So I guess that's pretty good. Hunting Nexu. Cassian. Standing Officer. Evidence of Crime. Foundling. Wow. Are we not going to see any more than the two legendaries we've seen so far? I, again, I guess I can't complain after the last box, right? Um, I guess I can't. There really isn't much I can say. Or who knows? Maybe there was a legendary name that I missed it. Uh, Pike Sentinel. I can't tell you how many times that happened with set one. Where there were a lot more legendaries I, I, that I actually managed to pull and I just didn't notice. Flamethrower, Maz, and then a DL44. Right. Come on, Crate Dragon. Somewhere, please. Just just need like I mean two, but just give me one. Um uh, Centauri Peacekeeper. Get to attack. I guess we're attacking boss may not be a bad idea. Since you can damage your own uh, your own unit. Your own your own bounty or really units bounties in general. I think with Vader it may not be a bad idea to try out desperate attack as a means to just swing. Tearful. Purple. I don't even think I pulled that guy. Alright, man, we got two packs left, but we've only pulled two legendaries from this box. That's uh, wild. Uh, onto the teeth. Spirit target. Onto the teeth. Full art. Cool. Now there's a legendary. Second chance. Uh, I touch on on leader. Gains one defeated. Um, for this phase, the unit's owner may play it for free from this profile. Okay. And then this is the way. Okay, so we've gotten like three legendaries technically from this box now. And the final pack. Bane. Okay. Dengar, Proxima, Kylo Ren. All right, that's a, we'll take that. We'll take that legendary. And then Fennec Shan. All right, cool. Everything was basically just chilling at the bottom of the box. Uh, this box wasn't too bad either. But um, yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, went through that much quicker than I would have expected. Uh, appreciate you guys checking it out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know about your pulls in the comment section down below. Peace.